I'm a non-stop introvert, a person who loves mingling, gabbling, and getting out in the world. Journalist, Megan McCain. Extroverts love to talk. And being an extreme extrovert that I am, I wanted to cover the advantage of being loud, bold, and a bit crazy. Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Brendan from Master Talk here, your go-to channel to mastering your talk. And following up on my introvert advantage video, I had to pay a little bit of tribute to the extroverts out there. So let's get into the power of loudspeakers. One point before I get started. I'm sure you've probably realized that any style of speaking is right, as long as you just embrace it. That's why it's important for me to explain the advantages of both introverts and extroverts because you can learn from either situation. And by embracing both styles, you'll be able to figure out what uniquely speaks to you. Number one, extroverts are the masters of awkward. Even if I struggled a lot with silences and pauses and really making myself feel comfortable in the silence, Whenever it came to staring at people for uncomfortable periods of time, I really didn't mind. Because since extroverts go out to a lot of social gatherings, events, cocktails, parties, all the time, we always like being out there, we generally stare at people for a lot, whether it's five people, 10 people, 15 people. So whenever I practice eye contact or just staring into people's eyes for very long periods of time, I wasn't worried. So whenever I do spontaneous speeches, ones I didn't prepare for, or I want to just look at somebody for 10 seconds, just, you know, just to build a deeper relationship with them. It didn't really matter. It didn't bother me so much. Whereas introverts would have a lot more trouble doing that because they would start diverting eye contact. Oh, I'm giving a presentation and why is this person looking at me? So you get a bit more nervous. But if you're an extrovert like me and you have the same level of experience, you'll be able to look at people for an indefinite period of time. Number two, voice projection. Extroverts go out to almost every single event, whether it's a bar, a club, an event, and generally those places are very loud. There's so many people in the room, you can't really hear anyone. These types of situations forces people like us, since we go to those events more frequently, to practice being loud. What did you say? Oh, I said this, and that ability to constantly practice your voice gives you better control over it when you present. This is why extroverts are masters at voice projection, because since we're loud all the time, we're able to vary our vocal tones much easier than an introvert would. Because since an introvert isn't exposed to as many social events and mostly spends their time with themselves and aren't practicing their voice, whereas extroverts are at karaoke every night singing their, ha their hearts out, it's a lot easier for us to project your voice, control it, and master our audience in the process. Number three, bold risk taking. Because extroverts go to so many events, it means we get rejected more often. Not necessarily for romantic reasons, but let's say you wanna to talk to someone at a bar or at a cocktail, and they're just not in the mood to talk to you. That rejection is done more frequently because we go to so many places. And that happens in every single area of our life because extroverts tend to work more in sales. We tend to be more in presentation rooms. We tend to be more in situations where there's people. So because of that rejection over and over and over again, over long periods of time, our resilience is a lot stronger, which means we're more comfortable taking bolder risks. Jokes that introverts would never tell. Presentation parts that seem a bit under the radar, a bit overrated or, or a bit cheesy, we're not afraid to do it. And that ability for us to take bolder risks allows us to create better presentations that are more exciting and entertaining for our audiences. So in that way, if you're able to go to more events, be more extroverted and take better risks, you'll be able to give presentations that most people aren't even willing to try. The point of this entire conversation is introverts and extroverts can learn a lot from each other. And the other point is that you always start with something. 
There is always a strength in the way that you communicate and there's always something you need to work on. And everyone has a different set of opportunities and strengths. And if you know what your set is, you'll be able to leverage the stuff that you're good at to then maximize your improvement points, to then master your talk in a way that's uniquely you. As always, if you enjoyed this week's episode of Master Talk, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel as well to see more videos like this. Extroverts are people who love to take up space, who love being energetic, but in the same way that introverts like being to themselves. So if you can master yourself, you'll be able to understand what you're great at and master your talk. Cheers, everyone. See you next time. Thank you